All right, everyone, welcome back to a new customization video. Today, we're gonna to be working with the Truffade Adder. It's one of the very OG supercars from back in 2013 when the game first came out. It's very cool. It's, of course, based off the Bugatti Veyron. Got it in a nice orange right now. Let's take it into the shop to customize it. It is on sale this week, 30% off, meaning it's $700,000. Pretty decent, nice sale. Let's get in it, let's see if it's worth it though. We're gonna upgrade the armor first in the brakes. The engine that can definitely go up. No explosives, no horns, the lights. Already white, I think we're gonna keep them. Maybe we'll add a neon, probably not. It looks like there's really not much customization to it, but we're gonna put that, we're gonna put the window tin on. The suspension, we can definitely lower that. I think for the respray, I do really like this orange on it, but I also really like uh, cream. Green Bugattis. Very nice looking. I think we're gonna do that. But we'll also do cream for the secondary because I've never been a huge fan of the stripes here when they're not on the roof too. But it doesn't mean it would look oh, I kind of like this actually. Just for like a subtle difference for the stripes. Oh that's it's very cool actually. Even a blue would look good on it too. You can get many, many nice colors with this. But I think that's good for the color. Maybe even the uh, crew color. This looks really good as well, actually. But I think we're gonna keep the cream. Put the transmission up. We can turbo it up, even though it's already got four of them. Wheels. Stock ones are cool looking. I think we'll try and do something a little, a little more out there. Maybe track wheels. Probably not. I'm sure the Truffade concaves could look good on this. But I personally am not a fan of these wheels too much really not sure what to go for though ah, i kind of want to see what these look like maybe we can get some color on it now could we do a oh, it looks okay could we do a cream for the wheels desert tins kind of close damn these are some thick wheels it goes all the way back there maybe we'll just do classic black i think maybe we'll change it though concaves in black do look kind of nice maybe the synthetic z's I think, I think that'll be good. Actually, no, I think I want something a little bit thicker. End of V1s, these, these look pretty good. It doesn't really feel like a Bugatti rim. The S racers I was also considering. Dash VIP with a little bit of chrome. These are, I, th I think we'll have to go with the deep flake rivers. I do, I do that a few times. I was also thinking of this one. It's a little too concave for my liking. I kind of like how this one comes flat up front and then dips down. Color, good for black. Tires, no custom ones. We'll bulletproof it. Smoke, I think we'll keep that. Windows are good. Plates, that can go. Twingo, I think we'll leave it white though. Do we want a neon? Uh, don't think so. Horn. I'm gonna do that one, I love that one. All right, well, let's take it out. Excited to drive it. It's been a minute. Ooh, and we're gonna give it a little sound test. really hear that turbo spool that's pretty sick here we go oh i really like the sound of when it's driving i do think they rockstar really got the sound right with this one Sounds like a W16. It's very low, grumbly. It's very intimidating, especially in real life. They sound amazing in real life. Oh, that was another near miss. This is really fun to drive though. It feels really planted. It's got really pretty decent downforce, even though there's no spoiler. It does have an active one, I believe, if we get fast enough. Maybe, maybe not. Used for braking? What is that thing? Is it not? Maybe it doesn't come up, that's weird. But that doesn't make it a bad handling car. I think it might be all-wheel drive. Let's do a test. Oh, it looks like it. Definitely all-wheel drive. Very cool. It might be stuck now. I really like driving this car. It feels good to drive. It's very fast. What are we getting up to? 120? 125? Oh! Damn! It totally just turned into me. Anyway, it's a pretty fun car to drive. It's very quick. These guys are freaking out. It doesn't have the greatest brakes, as you can see. But it's very fun. It feels really planted. Won't be spinning out too much with it unless you really send it. 
a perfect beginner, like early, early career kind of car. Especially this week, it's on sale for 700K. Very good price for it. And if you do a lot of driving on the highway, having a high top speed is very important. So I'd definitely pick it up. I'd give this a... Oh, 10 out of 10 for that landing. Oh my God. Comparing it to other 2013 vehicles like the Entity XF, which I think was his biggest rival, it's definitely not as good around some twisty stuff. So I think the Entity feels a bit lighter, it's easier to handle, but this thing definitely catches it in the speed. I do believe both are rear wheel, are all wheel drive. For the Entity, it might just be a tiny bit towards the front, but it drives like an all wheel drive car, it's very good. I think this one's just kind of under it for most competitive scenarios, but then again, I'm not really racing competitively with this or anything. So I'd totally recommend this car. I think it's pretty great for the price. It's an OG car and its looks are timeless. But I'd definitely pick this up this week if you don't have one. If you got enough supercars and are on a budget, it's not too necessary. But if you're looking for a new one to drive around, some little fun, maybe I just haven't had the chance to check it out. Now is definitely the time. I mean, just look how good it looks. Oh, I like the lighting in this shop. It's so nice and open. But yeah, that's about it for the Truffaid Adder. Very cool car. Very good price. Solid $1 million usually. On sale 700 k this week. Even better price. Honestly, not too much else to say though. It's kind of like a decent jack of all trades kind of car, but master of none. I think that's the saying. But thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed or a dislike if you didn't. Let me know what you think of the build. And let me know what you think of the car. And that's about it. See you all later.